Hi, it's Roger, and this video is going to join the list of my political videos in what I call unpolite politics. Two things are on my mind this week. Number one, uh, it's the 70th anniversary coming up of Auschwitz. I'm going to put the links to these stories just below the video. I want you to click on them. I want you to read the stories. I want you to do your research. Don't take my word for it. Do your own thinking. But I want to bring these ideas into your attention. I want you to think about them. 70 years ago, perhaps one of the greatest tragedies of human versus human or human on human violence was perpetrated at Auschwitz and other Nazi death camps uh, which were taking place in Europe uh, during the Second World War. The fact that Auschwitz is having its anniversary should remind us of the depths to which we can sink if we are not careful. What happened that a group of what happened was a group of otherwise intelligent, law-abiding people at a nation began to believe that one group of people, segregated from them by racial or cultural or ethnic labels, was responsible for all that was wrong in their society. They rounded those people up and they sent many of them, millions of them, to their death. This should remind us of the dangers of labeling individuals by ethnicity or race or culture as being the source of problems or any problem. Treat people as individuals. And individually, every race, every religion, every culture has its heroes and its criminals. Do not paint an entire culture, race, or religion with the same brush. The results are horrific. Second thing that's on my mind this week is the fact that, according to statistics now, 1% of the global population is owning half the wealth. We've seen this before in a number of cultures. In European or Western culture, it was called the Middle Ages. You had a handful of people who owned all the land and everyone else basically were serfs. That means you worked basically like a slave on the land. You had little social mobility. You had little more than the food and the the food you ate and the clothes you wore if you had enough of those and it was an awful time to be alive if you were a serf. This situation with unequal distribution of wealth reminds me a little bit of that. There are parallels. What should we be careful of? We should be careful of letting the situation perpetuate because it is unpleasant in human conditions for those on the bottom half of the wealth pyramid. What can you do? First, recognize that there are ways in which the wealth is redistributed. Those are taxes. Do not be afraid of taxation. It is one way to re redistribute the wealth. Hold governments accountable for taking the taxes and then redistributing that so that that wealth is available to all of us. It is not about taking away from people who have worked hard. It's about letting all of us gain the rewards of our hard work. So those are two things that are on my mind this week. I encourage you to read the articles, form your own opinions. I am bringing them to your attention. Think about them. Perhaps sometimes you got to take off the YouTube and actually read and consider and have some opinions, even if they're political opinions. This has been Roger. Thank you for tuning in to this week's video. The links below my video uh, for the articles I'm talking about. My book is now available on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca or via my website. I hope you have a wonderful week.